You're watching 7 Local News. The Capras are blaming fundamental errors in their game as CQ continues to search for that winning formula in the Q Cup. Despite scoring first through a late Broncos inclusion, the Capras were blown away by the league-leading North Devils in the second half. It was game on as the cap presented the field with Broncos player Corey Oates a late inclusion. He crossed first for the home side to open up CQ's account. It has been actually a very long time for me to play here, but that's no, great. Love it. L love playing rocky. It's always good, good to come back. Norths were too agile as they ducked and weaved their way over the line. Just as Norths looked to break away, Smith Samow closed the margin. Both teams were struggling to hold on to the ball, but after the break, the Devils got a grip and found the gap quickly and easily. The fundamental errors are, are really costing us at the moment. Um, just just uh, the inability to be able to build pressure, um, and that you know that's vital. They didn't let up as the Capras grew weary. Norths were having a devil of a time as they struck the final blow. Second half, I was really happy with our, our attack and our defence. You know, we kept them to zero in the second half, which is a real positive from, from that point of view. Meanwhile, there's whispers out of Brisbane that Broncos fullback Ben Barber could line up for the Capras in the coming weeks after an inconsistent start to the season. But teammate Corey Oates says Barber's best will come. He's a natural athlete. Um, it's just, just that confidence like, coming from a different club and that. But no, he's a good I think he's just got to, everyone's just got to get off his back a, a little bit. Nikki Brown, 7 News. The CQ Capra's winless start to the Queensland Cup has continued, this time outclassed by Norths at Brown Park. The Devils ran right in the second half, keeping the home side scoreless in the process. It doesn't get any easier for the Capras, who host Winner Manly in Gladstone on Thursday night. Is this the post-match team huddle which kickstarts the Capra's season? They're going to stay together and that's the thing that we're doing. We're sticking together and we're, we're in a hole but we're going to fight out this together. After an all-too-early Norths try, late inclusion Corey Oates muscled his way over for the Capra's. <laughs> Young Broncos half Duncan Payua firing a cutout pass for Oates to burst through some Norths defence as the Capra's almost went the length of the field from the kickoff. Some hard running from Norse 5'8", Todd Murphy gifted the visitors back the lead before Smith Samow ducked under Devils defenders to hit back. Trailing Norse 18'8", the turning point of the match came at the start of the second half when an Oates try was disallowed due to a forward pass, which looked flat at worst. Quite well could have gone our way. Um, it didn't and I could just see the boys deflate a bit and we're still right in the game. And then the errors started to come in again. Oates left the field with a hamstring injury shortly after as the Devils ran riot through some soft Capra's defence. It's real frustrating um, trying to get going. Like this, this happens with injuries. Oates Broncos teammate Lachlan Miranda reminding Anthony Griffin of his try scoring form with a strong game at lock for Norths. We kept him to nil in the second half which is always positive when you can do that to a team. But um, yeah, as I said, it's always a hard, hard trip travelling to Rocky. Capra's coach Jason Hetherington has just three days to turn it around before the Easter Thursday clash against Wynnum Manly. They run hard, they, they build pressure on you, exactly what they did tonight. Um, you know, we could take a leaf out of their book. Aaron Kelly, Win News.